a more openness to that type of uh, I see style. what you mean, because yeah. Lucky Q brings with him this level of aggression that's not yeah. there with a lot of players, and uh, it, it was very difficult to adapt to beforehand. Uh, so I'm interested to see how this plays out. We're going to see how that plays out as we get into our first game. This is game number one of a semifinal best of five. The player that wins this will not only advance to the world finals, but also to the grand finals of the 2019 SWC Europe Cup. All right. Here we go. Semifinals to round number one. Lucky Q versus Rossif. These players are deciding on their pre-bans right now. And, and just as, as a reminder, yeah. if nobody's been here before, if they're just joining us now, you can't consecutively pre-ban the same monster twice. Exactly. Uh, and in this case, Lucky Q took a bit, I, I, I would presume, like preemptively we presume that Lucky Q took a bit more time what he wants to ban, considering, consider, considering that he had three LDs he could potentially ban. That's right. First picking Lauren of all the things that he could first pick. C'est la vie, c'est la vie. C'est la vie. Lauren, I love you. <laughs> it's, it's fitting. It is it's fitting. fitting. I think if we've established one thing today, it's that everybody in the audience should be building Lauren right now. I think this you is all just should. this is all just one big lecture on. She's Lauren. not just good in PvP. She's good in all aspects of the game. She's actually in my dragons team right now. Believe it or not. I wouldn't. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, that's actually the truth. Yeah. Here we go. So Daphnis is on the right. Fran, uh, Fran is there too. We see the ragdoll pick. And we brought this up before. One of the benefits of picking a Ragdoll or one of those very high threat mm -hmm. LD Nat 5s is that you get to take whatever team you want in most cases. Yeah, and it, it just enables, uh, it, it's almost, it's not entirely, but it's almost a anti-speed uh, anti speed team. Considering like if you leave that Ragdoll through, um, if they just make a single crit on that uh, on Razith, he might as well just get the turn because he's going right. to get boosted. Yes, you're kind of denying yourself the rest of the team. If you get the first turn and that's it, then mm -hmm. the whole enemy team goes before you. Lucky Q continuing that Lagmaron streak right now. That, uh, dude, I, I, I gotta be honest, that is so beautiful to look at. I love Lucky Q's team here. Uh, and I might, I might, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna steal it, but I'm going to steal it. Rosseth <laughs> presenting a second LD Nat 5 threat. Because why not, really? Why, why not? I, I'm expecting the Ragdoll ban to be sure, but it, that's... It's taking a lot into account. Also, the oh, there's there's a lot. The, to the deal thing with here it. is, it, like, if Lucky Q bans the Ragdoll, he has to deal with that Daphnis and, and the Shield. And the exactly. Shield exactly. And people have a tendency to just say it's an LDNF five. Let's ban it. Yeah, uh, they do. And in this case, uh, if the Lagmon is left through, which is not, Lucky Q still has the potential to kill that Shihu right now. Uh, un yeah. un unless that resistance does some insane work. Lucky Q. Showing that he is sound in mind right now. Mm -hmm. He looked at everything. He saw the ragdoll and he said, I'm not going to ban this just because it's got the name ragdoll on it. Can I can I get around everything else? And I agree with this because he set himself up. He's got the one turn of immunity from Triana, which sets that up was the defense beautiful. for Gushu. He didn't get a single crit, which leads him to just do that. Exactly, exactly that. Yes, and now he doesn't get to benefit from the ragdoll passive. That was mm -hmm. an awesome stroke of luck from him, not critting on that. One of the few moments where you don't want to crit on a monster. Unfortunately, it wasn't as much damage as I would have hoped it was. That's true, but it still it still goes to show why you don't need to put a lot of crit rate on your Lorne. You Maybe it's a counter to ragdoll, and we just haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> just don't hit the ragdoll, c considering you're a, you are a light unit. Mm -hmm. And Triana has the option right now to just keep picking damage on the Shiho. Goes for that one, gets gets a proc for an additional 3,000 damage. Shiho is looking pretty bad right now. 10,000 coming from that Ragdoll. That's actually a lot of damage. That is a lot of buff. damage considering uh, he has attack buff, so uh, why not? Yeah. Why not just go for the torrent right now? Yeah. Exactly. You don't expect that can much damage. Can he get stuns? He gets the stun on Vanessa, doesn't get additional proc. He can just heal up that Shiho. That Shiho is like unusually tanky i would say but it you know it's funny that he opted to put the glancing hit on right now because the problem with that is that it doesn't synergize very well with the ragdoll because now you're you're not going to be critting he's not going to be getting attacked in this case it doesn't matter because he is going to crit <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see let's see if the crit comes oh let's and see. now now he has the opportunity to steal the invincibility from him he does he gets, it gets, gets two crits along mm -hmm, the way mm -hmm, but he didn't have glance away mm -hmm. no he didn't <laughs> 
All right. He can attack break and push tag the attack bar on Vanessa. Here comes Lauren with a slow but no land defense, defense break. break. And that was the most crucial thing. He, he really would, needed that. Defense yeah. break, most important debuff in the game, I'd argue. He can get the next best thing. Oh, and he doesn't the, even get the next best thing. It was resisted. And now she hoes back up. He's got to do he this. He stunned the Lauren and doesn't get it. He had to do Let's this. Let's get an additional bra. Oh, oh, look at all those stuns. He has to kill this she ho essentially a third time. He's gotten it all the way down so often. Probably going to offer that. Uh, uh, yeah, upping that Lauren, getting that control into the game again. I wouldn't be surprised if this ragdoll kills right here. Doesn't have quite enough damage. Whoa. Eleanor finishes off. Vanessa's passive is proc. Lauren's back up with an attack buff. This is it. This is the kill that he needs. Can he do it? He oh, doesn't. He should have gone for the second skill, but it's okay. He gets it anyways. It, was it on cooldown? I think it might have been on, I'm not sure. It went so fast. He chose it yeah. so fast that I wasn't able to see it. <laughs> Me neither. To yeah, be it might have it might have been on it. He can put the aura of dawn back up. Attack break and glancing. That's essentially a heal for your team, to be and honest. It. Anytime you put the the, the and attack. The Adrian is now downed. It's not looking that great for Lucky Q at this point. No, it's it's definitely not. He's He's got to overcome the sustain from the Fran, the attack break, and the glancing from the Eleanoa, and also and the turn side That is enough to finish that, Lauren. And uh, with that, I think most of the hope of coming through. But look, he's just putting the attack buff up mm -hmm. the immunity so that there's nothing. He's playing it super not. safe. Rosseth is satisfied with the fact that he's going to be getting a point after this. Yeah, uh, Eleanor plus Fran is like infinite amount of uh, immunity. You can tell how much damage is coming. Look at that. He did 12,000 damage mm -hmm. with that attack buff up <laughs> compared to the 10k from before. Yep. Attack power is up 30%. That Max is... HP is going down. So is I, that Vanessa. I am. I'm, I'm actually baffled. Like I, I, I did not expect that much damage from that uh, from that Eleanor as well. Yeah, the, the she Eleanor is, did a lot. She, she has a lot of. She has some quality. Grade A six star runes. <laughs> yeah. Six star runes. Grade I have to, like, A. You emphasize gotta that. To sit to sit in this in, in this tournament setting, you gotta have the toppest tier of runes. Mm -hmm. And now just finishing the job, trying to make sure that Lucky Q doesn't have enough time to think about that next game. Rosseth is gonna have to do this two more times. Yeah, he's just contemplating. Contemplating is virtue. Like, as I said that before, but I don't think anyone got that. <laughs> so, Oh, don't worry. I committed it to heart. Rossip <laughs> getting the first win of this match. He only, again, semifinals two, round two. Rossip versus Lucky Q. Let's jump in there and do all these picks before something happens. We got Ragdoll and Vanessa pre-banned right now. And Q, Lucky Q and Rossip are just going to go through all those picks. You, I would love you to continue. Like, oh yeah, man, that was ultra speed. Like, that was over nine thousand. So please continue. I don't, I don't need any gaps for for the game to think something's <laughs> going on. Uh, but though, if I understand correctly, it's not a game issue. It's actually a connection. Mm -hmm. There's like a dedicated Wi-Fi that's having a little bit of issue right now. But uh, that's all speculatory. We don't need speculation right now because we got Fran, we got Lauren, we got Daphnis, and we got all the same picks that we saw before uh, before the gap there mm -hmm. coming up right now. We got the Viva Chell, we have the Sierra, we're going to see the Hathor and Bird. Hopefully, uh, it depends. Like, what do you think? Is it going to be the same band? Or no, I, I think you were right. I, yeah. I really liked your argument. I found it to be quite compelling. Wait, I think you like my argument? Be, I did, I did. Oh. I, I really respect it a lot. And that judging judging from Rosseth's RTA history, he chooses to go for the vert again. Maybe there's something we're missing. Maybe the, the issue didn't happen no, then. No, it, And it's still good. It's still good. It's still good. But uh, as I said, he might as well want that, you know, flavor. You know, he wants that he flavor. He wants the flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can't, I can't blame a man for wanting some flavor. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it, that is what it is. And I think he does have enough protection against it. So it's like as long as he does have protection. Yeah, he's got the protection against it. So that means he can just uh, let it through. The whole team is immunity up. Lauren goes and gets the defense break on Daphnis, but it looks like uh, we've had an admin pause the game mm -hmm. momentarily. And we'll have to see what comes I, up after I'm, this. I'm pretty excited. Is it is it the Hathor ban or not? <laughs> I'm, I'm, so, I'm so into the tournament setting right now that I'm seeing the match play out in my head. <laughs> So I'm seeing I'm seeing the the Fran put up the immunity in the uh, in the attack buff. I'm watching Hathor single target strip the Vivichel, mm -hmm. and then uh, we see Agar. However, however, okay. that's not going to happen because so? Josephine gets uh, if she. Oh no, sleeps, she, you're right. She gets yeah, it. I told Josephine me. can just. Provoke I barely Agar. recognized her behind the the S in the pause. To be the honest, S in the pause. The S in the pause. It's kind of blocking her figure. Mm. Totally, totally forgot about her. You're right. Uh, and we're back. Here we go, Fran. Prove me right. 
Attack buff and immunity. Let's see, Let's see if that plays out. Is However, do it? the Aegir goes oh, before so the Hathor. I'm already wrong. I, that's the trouble. Daphnis is dead. Ooh. Aegir gets an additional turn. Doesn't get to do too much with it, but he's going to be able to tunnel some damage into a unit. Who is he most scared of? He's very scared of Eleanor right now. Uh, Resisted. Okay, so the resistance comes in place. And this is this is a kill on Hawthor right here. He's going to put her down to one HP. And that's going to proc the passive of Josephine, and Josephine will just immediately kill. I love that combo because it puts it puts Vivichel to sleep right away. Oh, Josephine does go for the kill. Tries to do yeah, it. I can guess. just do AoE right now. And it benefits from doing the attack break and the glancing on Aegir. That was a very cool move that I'm not used to thinking about, to yeah, be totally I honest. I mean, I wasn't used to myself as well, but yeah. <laughs> uh, in this case, it's it's looking re really good uh, in, uh, in uh, Q's side. It does look really good for Lucky Q. He had an awesome start, and I don't think that Rosseth can come back from this, but we'll have to see what's going on. Ager just has so much utility in his kit. He's so much more than just damage. He he kills Eleanor, and he's got a, he's got a Buff get, removal in the yeah, back. Buff removal, and he can just push back as well. Mm -hmm. That's right. Choosing to get a little bit of damage in on Vivichel here. Going for the stun on Lauren, which the, the real threat is Aegir right now. The real threat is Aegir. The Aegir is the threat. Uh, so the only way Rosith can come back from this is by getting an insane amount of violent procs right now. It doesn't look like that's going to happen, considering that Lucky has so much control with the Lauren, with the Aegir, and he, he will probably have immunity up right now as well. Exactly, and what I didn't realize is that Aegir, in certain circumstances, when his third skill is up, is actually really, is really good against Vivichel. Like, if he takes 50% he and misses half, he can he'll, he'll get everything. Sustained. Yeah, exactly. And now it's just down to Josephine. And now there's going to be a point on the board for Lucky Q. Mm -hmm. These players only have to do this two more times, and then they'll be securing their spot in the finals. Uh, I got to be honest. It's so hard to tell who's going to win. Like, I don't know. So every, like, everyone in the semifinal, like, they're so equal. Yeah, it's it, so equal. I, I got to know. Is that the fastest round that we've had all day long? I, it felt fast. It felt really fast. But uh, it's probably because we're so excited. Oh, also, we had, like, a little bit of a break in between there. Oh, yeah, so yeah. it's not like it was contiguous. But, I, I mean, it was... I mean, we finally got to see the game happen. Like, I, I uh, the That's game. true. We, we, uh, so, so we had a lot of chance to talk about everything ahead of time while we were, uh, you know, having that extended discussion. Uh, and then the game happened. And I feel like all of the things that we talked about... I don't know if those were necessarily relevant uh, to exactly what happened because it felt like the game was just like pretty like straightforwardly it was decided. Cool to drive. Yeah, and it, he honestly the um, the the Ager was my MVP because uh, Hawthor got sniped out right away. So even though the Hawthor didn't come into play too much, uh, it, the, it, it wasn't that big of an issue for him. So I think it was good that he let it through. We made you guys wait a lot for game number one. So we were ready to get back into game uh, number or game number two. And now we're getting into game number three coming up. That's right. <laughs> Rosseth versus Lucky Q, semifinals two, round three. Going for that Viva Chell ban and the Hathor ban. As you like, as you said from the exactly. beginning, Rosith doesn't like that Hathor. He doesn't like the Hathor. And what I meant, it, so it's like last time we saw the Hathor wasn't the threat. It was the Aegir. Yeah. The, the Aegir was actually the threat from that team. So even though it didn't go his way, I think his ban was still pretty sound, to be honest. It was, it was. Mm -hmm. Let's just see how Rosith is going to adapt to that previous game. Uh, hopefully we'll see uh, another... What were, we, what were we talking about? Uh, ragdoll. Rag, a the ragdoll. ragdoll. It's, not, it's notably not pre-banned right now. Chooses to go for the Lauren instead. And this is what we were talking about earlier. Get those units that are more common out yep. of the way. Vanessa is a really common monster in this level of RTA. And then Lauren, everybody has yeah. access and to. And Lucky Q loves to play with the Vanessa because he wants to get a lot of... He wants to get momentum. He wants to get that first turn as well. Mm -hmm. He's he's known for wanting that first turn right away. Rosseth is... Uh, he's proving to be the threat that everybody thought he was, but... Lucky Q is also getting that same badge of honor. Mm -hmm. And there we go with a Daphnis and Eleanor. Oh, man. The Eleanor is looking pretty, 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 pretty. Pretty good. He's pretty good. It's a surprise that we haven't seen her pre-banned yet. I almost I, I almost think she warrants one. I, it's, <laughs> I really like her second <laughs> skill, man. The attack break and the glancing is basically a heal for your team. I, I can't stress that enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, he's had... 
like really optimal games with that. Okay, taking from Obabo there. The Azaria with pick. the Azaria pick. Lots of attack bar manipulation on Lucky Q's side. He has so much attack bar decrease, increase absorption. He's got sleep. Rosseth, I don't know if Rosseth has what it takes to adapt to this. No immunity on this side. So that means all of Lucky Q's effects are going to be going through. Yeah. I would, I, I'm expecting a ban on his Arya, to be uh, totally honest. It might or be Aager. so. It, Roz is, seems to want that first, um, first, um, turn? first turn, exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, he might get the, get it. Uh, it all depends on what he's banning. That uh, some people usually rune up that, uh, like rune up bird with uh, swift. So it might happen to be really fast. And there's that respect ban on the Ager. It was mm -hmm. definitely the main problem from uh, for Roz at last game trying to make it a little bit more difficult for him to uh, keep his team alive, mm -hmm. Lucky Q bans out the Vanessa. He bans out the Vanessa, so it just leaves him. Okay, that is a really fast. Yeah, that's a suspiciously fast Lauren. Really Slow fast down. Lauren. Okay. Uh, and, and it's on And it's on violent. <clears throat> it gets the first turn, it's on violent. Okay. So he could, he goes for that. That's kind of a dangerous play just in case it's on revenge because it exactly. might have the opposite effect so, that you want, but he got lucky. The thing here is that was a really good heal. Um, uh, it was a heal that you would have gone for. So uh, Ooh, that, that's some good the, sleep as The well. extra sleep on some map pre preventing some of the damage that was going to come onto Vertihile. He landed the, uh, the cooldown. I, I don't know. Yeah, he landed the cooldown on the uh, on the Triana. So he could just ki kill the bird now. Look at that. The refresh into the attack bar boost. So wait, he, could, he didn't wait, land he it? He didn't land it. Okay. I, I, it was so fast that I thought, I so thought he landed it too. But I think what I was reading was the, the landing it on the bird. I think yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I was reading. It overlapped. Wow, that's really unfortunate. I think he might have had the same the same thing. He might have thought that he landed it on Triana mm -hmm. and just went I think, for it. I think we need. To, I, I think we both need glasses. But you're wearing glasses. I'm I am not. wearing. I'll <laughs> take a second set of glasses for this one. <laughs> Sleeping the Eleanor, decreasing the attack on Daphne. It's such a shame for Rosit that that didn't actually do anything because now since Triana's passive was up, mm -hmm. Vertihile didn't take any damage whatsoever, and suddenly Ross's team looked like it was hit with the Hathor that he free banned earlier. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So Lucky Q seems to be uh, like he seems to be controlling the game now. Like Izaria is going to do is is Izaria is going to do the Hathor game here. She can ultimately function like a Hathor in this mm -hmm. situation. Like she's it's pretty often that you get to see her sleep the entire team. That Daphnis is on his way out. I think she could kill right here. Didn't even need to crit. Three thousand. No. Daphnis is off the board. Whoa. That was a huge okay. hit on some map. <laughs> what? That was a huge hit. Not only that, with that sleep as well, but that was just an added bonus. So uh, how that must be entirely damage? Is that an entirely damage? It, it's <laughs> not. It's not. Uh, it's not unusual to see crit damage tree on us. That's. It was six thousand. The six thousand hit from that thing took out almost all of his health. Mm. So, uh, yeah, uh, Lucky Q seems to be controlling this game pretty well. I, I did not expect that versus a Eleanor. Neither did I, because the Eleanor has been kind of an issue. Love the combo with Eleanor and Daphnis ultimately wasn't enough. It, it's still just fast asleep. Lauren getting controlled. She's not used to this. <laughs> We're not used to seeing the Lauren get controlled. It's normally Lauren doing oh, the controlling. Man. My baby. My baby is getting controlled. She needs some help. Lucky Q with another point on the board in the semi. <laughs> that was a really awesome segue. Here we go. Semi-finals two, round number four. Rosses versus Lucky Q. Lucky Q is at game point. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to see that ragdoll ban and that respectable Lauren, Lauren ban. ban. Mm -hmm. which, is, which is funny because we, we know that it's really fast. Lauren's are typically kind of squishy too. So it's like it, normally people don't pre-ban it because it's kind of easy to get rid of in the game. It is, but that that would probably be b below C3 and uh, that that kind of rating. Oh, but that's true it, because like, you're right. The runes here are the yeah. toppest of tiers. They are toppest of tiers. Exactly. You just they are off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you can say hardcore-ish, I can say toppest. <laughs> okay. All right. Vertihile and Ager. Uh, Ager is. I, I had a lot of respect for Ager coming into this tournament, but he's kind of redefined himself in my mind. We've seen him come back from a lot of situations. Usually, if the enemy team doesn't have any damage, he can just plow right through him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and versus a Ager, in this case, like, uh, Razif hasn't really picked up any counters to it and has always let it through. Right. So, and that is, th like, uh, right now, he is actually picking some counters. He has a half, or he has a uh, Sierra. He's picking, he's picking the wind units. And, a Vela Jewel. A that's Vela a Jewel. that's a very new unit for this tournament. We haven't seen Vela Jewel picked yet. 
providing that three turns of immunity, cleanse, and attack bar boost all in one skill. Mm. What a legend. Shiho and Daphnis, I, that's actually a great counter pick to the it Bella is, Jewel. It is, it is. That just tells me it might be a Vanessa ban on Lucky Q. Um, oh. And another immunity source makes me think that the Daph we're not going to see the Daphnis in this game. We're probably not going to see the Daphnis. So that's Sierra and Hathor. Unless that Amelia gets banned right now, I, I don't think... I don't think Sierra or Hathor is going to do much. They they will have to uh, look for some uh, soft spots to land a bomb or whatever. Fascinating. So Shiho and Daphnis are still in the game. Amelia and Velajul are still here, which means that there's always going to be a buff for Daphnis to take away. Yeah, and we're probably going to see that unless unless he can get that one-shot potential on that Daphnis, uh, I think Daphnis will one-shot that, <laughs> that Vanessa. I, I think you may be right, actually. Here comes Hawthor putting out the delayed promise while she can. I'm actually yep. a big fan of Ooh. that because there's never going to be another opportunity. So we're going to see the... Most likely going to see that um, Vanessa just kaput. And now it, Shiho has a little bit of an awkward turn. He can use his third skill on the Velajul if he wants to, but his main concern is just... It's it's just passing the turn yeah, to it, Daphnis. Yeah, uh, all right. So oh, the stun is not. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. never mind. No stun. I was gonna say that'd be kind of a, ni a nice bonus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So thirty-five thousand damage is gonna put <laughs> Vanessa oh, that's in the so grave. Good to see that is so good, and, and, and it's on violent. Like I never expected to be on violent. I don't. I really never see a violent deafness, and that is beautiful to see. It's great effect, and he strips away that shield because we know that was more than. Uh, we know mm -hmm. that was more than just one hit's worth of shield. Here comes Velajul with the three-turn immunity, and this is what I was talking about when I said that Hawthor is never going to get another chance to use a delayed promise on more than one person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can we see an additional proc from Daphnis? We did not. Uh, I would love to see that just to get back-to-back uh, -back so <laughs> Hellfire. So much damage comes out even from that first skill. Yeah. Big second skill from Velajul. 6.9 and a dot coming up next. But Fran still has her cleanse up? No, no, she already healed the Daphnis. I think. She did. She already healed she did. the Daphnis. So he's going to get to actually capitalize on some yeah. of that damage and just tunnel more into death. Yeah, however, like as soon as that Vela Jewel goes down, uh, I think that the Water Monkey has no issue to deal with whatever Lucky Q has. Right. Rosseth has support and damage in spades here. Yeah, and we're going to see the Vela Jewel go down here and continued after that. We're going to see... Okay, that's some good procs. These are some good... I, really good procs. I tell you, DB11 has some great runes, man. You should check it out. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, uh, it looks to be in the bag unless this bird can do some insane 5.2k 5. 5. damage. Nothing. 1.1 1. 1 for <laughs> <laughs> actually. And it lands the defense break. Gets and a crit. crit 34,000 damage. Crit on water. Just icing on the cake. This is proving that these players are even more matched than we thought they were. They're so equal. They're just trading off wins. They're just trading, and it's it's just fun to see that. It's just like I I I'm pretty speechless because I am I, I am actually really I, I'm so into the game. It's so fun to watch this. It makes me speechless. Yeah, me too. Like, or way, my dudes. This is semifinals two, round five. Someone is going to be able to come back here for the world finals. And they're going to be the French representative mm -hmm. from this tournament. This is really exciting. Somebody is going to be uh, having to be sent home, unfortunately. But they're going to be sent home as a third place, so they're not going to leave empty-handed. They're not going to do that. And in this case, we're probably going to see that, I, as I said. Yes! Yeah. Finally, someone <laughs> pre-bans the Ager. I actually love this. He's been such a threat across multiple games. Pre-banning him frees up another ban. I mean, Rosith has been very diverse with his bans. Yeah, he has, he, actually. He, yeah, he contemplates. Like, he knows, okay, this was very bad for me the previous game. Let's not have it this time. And it's a notable issue. that, And now he has to go, rather, Lucky Q has to go outside of his usual picks, find a different damage unit, and maybe, maybe you have a counter for it, because mm -hmm. not everybody has so much utility on one monster. No. Uh... Let's just see how Rosseth is going to respond to that Fran pick. It's just going to be like, basically, okay. And that's with that ragdoll. I, I gotta Warren. say, I gotta <laughs> say that I do, I do like it. Mostly just because you don't have anything to respond to yet. Fran is just such a, a natural and good choice that it, you want to see yeah. what they're going to bring to their team before you completely counter what's on the board. Yeah. And so uh, Rosseth go, goes with the Lauren and Ragdoll first pick. Uh, Lucky Q responds with that Hathor that might get banned as 
stats tells us. As the stats say, yeah, from yeah. season eight, nine, and ten. With a Vanessa as well. And Frazit's bringing out the Eleanor. Oh. God bless you. I love seeing the Eleanor. He's, it's so oh, much fun. He's just giving us color. He's just giving us mm -hmm. color. I just love the colorful play. Yeah, this is uh, entirely LD so far. All these LDs. And With there's the a win. Ciara. <laughs> and there's just, then and there's, there's a Ciara. Ciara. <laughs> All these LDs. All right. Triana, this is very safe. I, it is. I, I can hear Taki being unsatisfied with the amount no, of damage. No, I, I am really, <laughs> I am really not unsatisfied because I personally, I play also, I personally, personally play with uh, Vanessa, Triana, and okay. just build around that. Okay, but that's it's good. usually the way around. Like I first pick those. <laughs> so, frankly, I am a little concerned about Lucky Q's team right now because once you ban out the Hawthor, there's not a lot going on in terms of the damage, although uh, Ciara is going to be kind of a non-threat with the Fran and the Triana. I mean, in this case, it might be a crit damage Triana. And, and Vanessa could be a bruiser build. You're right. It could be. Uh, and, yeah. So Lauren's out. Ragdoll's in. So is Eleanor. This is... Uh, we get to see the dream. We get to see them both in the same place. Yeah, we do. This uh, is going to be a great round five. Yeah, so Eleanor will not have many to uh, reduce cooldown on except for that Ciara, so it... But in this case, he doesn't have any any strip so it will have he will have to wait until he lands the bomb so it's going to be a few turns before he can actually use one of those until then ciara is just going to be biding her time mm -hmm. using her first skill having some awkward turns but once he can start getting a target in we're going to see multiple bombs coming out of ciara because of the reset from Eleanor or the soft the soft reset because it's two turns mm -hmm. so the Eleanor will just use the first skill oh maybe not just okay pushing attack everybody bar. yeah more why attack not? bar why not that's a really interesting approach to that so now his team is going to get to funnel a little bit more damage into that Fran and and push Triana to use her her second skill. So now all of the immunity is going to be out of the way. Yeah. However, Sierra. Okay, that was one really squishy Sierra. Um, oh yeah, that's kind of going to throw a wrench in something if right. he can kill Sierra that easily. So let's just talk about the damage that is being dealt to Razif. It's it's not underrated. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, it <laughs> so. is. Right, that Sierra is a little squishy. I'm actually not sure if it can survive all those turns. Fran's going to be we, oh, she just barely hangs on. <laughs> that is that is one oh point one. Just barely hangs on. Now he's got to spend a little more time killing the the Fran, but that's okay. Gets a sleep on Verd. This is that is unheard of. And now, so Rossid has to find a way to kill the Fran, get through Triana's passive, or and I think it's back. I think it's yeah, it, the the passive yeah. and also the Vanessa. I don't think it's been proc'd yet. Actually, it hasn't been. It, it was it was just not enough damage. Now it's been proc'd. Now it's proc'd. Now he's got to get through Vanessa's pass. Can he land his sleep on that Sierra? Doesn't. No, the, the Verda Heil was too impressive. It, he doesn't need <laughs> to land it impressive. on anything else. And uh, let's not forget that Ganymede's here to also reset Vanessa's passive once it goes off. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that... All right, it wasn't heavy damage for that friend. I'm pretty like I'm pretty used to the heavy damage on... Oh! Friend. Wait, this could actually be big he could actually kill the Fran before Ganymede takes a turn if that he refreshes is correct. the right unit. That is correct, that is correct. So he's probably gonna push up that Vertahal. For for the attack bar yeah. boost so that way all of his team already can has, go. Yeah and they have their skill up. Goes for goes gets for that the additional, additional proc and gets a proc. So his whole team is gonna get to go before Lucky Q. Rosseth is taking his time, putting a bomb, putting a bomb on Vanessa, popping it and letting the AoE Kill the friend. Doesn't kill Wait, the friend. Wait, it doesn't kill the friend. It doesn't matter. Fascinating. He it's dead still. Doll. He's still he got the whole team. But that friend, I got to commend the friend for it hanging in. It was pretty tanky. That was impressive. Yeah, it was. They trade units there. But I think I think Rossit ultimately came out of this on top in that exchange. However, uh, Fiona still has her heal. Uh, and Sierra could potentially go down. He ventilates the Vanessa, mm -hmm. which which is good. So he can get that defense break and mm -hmm. maybe finish off that uh, that Sierra. But now he's he's going to go ahead and proc the passive right now, so he doesn't have to deal with it later. And he can put the bomb on on Triana, but he doesn't have. Oh, she doesn't misses. Land. She misses. She misses. So she's she's going to have to take a couple more turns. Ross still has the damage to carry through despite the lack of bomb. Oh, the proc okay. is icing on the cake. Can he land a defense break? Puts it. Huh? He lands it, defense break. <laughs> lands it on Eleanor. That works oh, so well. Oh, that dog for killed Q. him as well. So, oh, that's too much damage. That is just too much damage for for Lucky Q. I think. Oh, no. Okay. What? what? Crit what? Is what? that crit what? damage? Wait, can Vanessa? If Vanessa puts puts the defense break on this, and Ganymede goes in for. Ooh. Oh no. Okay. This uh, is. 
That was exciting, but this is a little bit too close. It, it, it's still not over. We'll We're, have to see. We'll have to see. Can Gani... Reset. You need to reset. Let's see the damage. Four oh, but that was crit. not a crit. That was not it a crit. Was, this isn't wasn't. 2017. He can't ventilate himself. <laughs> is that enough? We... If, if he if he he can't even yeah, proc here, I, I would probably say uh, it, well played. Well played, well Lucky play. Q. That was congratulations, so exciting. congratulations <laughs> to Rossin <laughs> getting the three two, becoming our second finalist of the day. Incredible set, guys. Congratulations to Rossin. Thank you, Lucky Q. Those were some awesome games. Now let's send it down over to Rapid on the stage.